a belly buzz. What would you do if you weren't afraid? This is a very exciting time in our life. time that is fleeting. And the answer is I would record her and I would document her life. Playing by yourself? That's a good girl. We've turned her crow sleeper into a kind of a playpen that's up high, right? And you're playing by yourself with all your toys and watching Winnie the Pooh? You're such a good girl. Yeah, you got your whole bag of toys. Have you pulled anything out? What, Blue? Ah, ah, no, no. Tell him, say, no, no, Blue. Don't scratch my stuff. I'm glad you're playing by yourself and being a good girl. So, we have a lot to tell you since the last time we vlogged. Don't we? Yes. <laughs> we have lots of exciting things going on. Um, but one that I'm very excited about right now is I just went on a like serious scavenger hunt for little swimmers diapers and I finally found them at Walgreens um because my niece Abby's birthday party is tonight and it is at our fitness center pool so we're going swimming tonight but do you want to do the honors I am excited because wait wait first let's tell them what I, I forgot to tell you guys I forgot to take you guys with me and I almost went home to get you but then I changed my mind because I didn't want to go all the way back but I told you guys about the cabinet or the counters and that night that same night that I told you guys about them we went and got them we ordered them so they should be here within two weeks yep and do you want to tell them the yes. second thing? I'm very excited because uh, we went to our nephew's um basketball game well mom did a couple weeks ago and she saw this piano well the guy there that's over the um, basketball court and stuff said well if you want it you can have it they said that we've been trying to get rid of it for a long time and no one will take it the kids were just like banging on it and stuff and messing it up yeah and mom said well I don't want it but my son-in-law might want it so I went over there to see it yesterday, and this piano is beautiful. Yeah. And so I looked up the serial number and everything, and the piano was made in 1909. Mm -hmm. So this piano is over a hundred years old, and I'm ready. I'm very excited to get it back and restore it a little bit because I don't think you're looking at me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm excited to get back and get it sanded down and make it look pretty again because the kids just been banging on it. There's some keys that are messed up. There's some, uh, the hammers, the things that hit the cords um, <laughs> are messed up. So I need to replace three or four of those. So, But I really don't want to do a lot to it. I want to clean it up. I mean, I want definitely want the keys fixed as far as make them functional but as far as like cosmetic I don't really want to do a lot to it I want to clean it up and see how it looks like once I put some um, like polish on it and everything to see because I kind of like that it looks like an antique it looks it doesn't look like ugly old it looks like you know they used to make things really nice and they don't anymore old <laughs> and I just think I like that I think it gives it character that it's got a little a couple of flaws and imperfections I wish I could just like clap my hands and it just show up in my house because this piano is going to be heavy 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 
they said say. that they said because for the performances, this um, is also like an auditorium where they have a stage for performances. They said that it took um, eight men to carry this piano up onto the stage. We've got probably three men to carry it. <laughs> And there's a random chicken. <laughs> um, but that's exciting. So we're getting new countertops and a piano until spring. And then we're getting a new deck. <laughs> so lots of fun stuff happening. But for now, I'm excited to go swimming tonight and take Lily swimming for the first time. And I'm so excited that I found her some huggy swimmers. Because, like, I literally went... Walmart didn't even have them. I went to, what, four stores? Yeah. Walgreens had them, so but I guess we'll see you guys in just a second. Hey, birthday girl. You having a good party so far? Y'all got in the cold pool now, did you? Wow. That is really good, sissy. Do it again. You do a very good job. Ready, set, go. Good job.
belly bus. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Are you swimming? You have my fun? Oh, that water is probably making you sleepy. I think she likes it. Do you like it, sissy? Oh, pretty girl, pretty girl. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Even blink. I, I had to go buy her a hair bow before we came. She knows the camera. Like the only thing I can move is my mouth. You want to go get dressed? You should see Eli all up on my back like a monkey trying to. Well, official teenager. You're 13. I'm 13. How's it feel? Um, You've aged well. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm really actually 11. Yeah. Probably. Abigail, how does it feel to be 13? Well, you really don't know because you're not 13 yet. Well, that's you on Thursday. How does it feel? Tell me, do you feel old? Do you feel like an official teenager? Because you have a bad attitude. I'm just going to hold this here until you get real awkward. <laughs> oh, sorry. Trading out. Sinner, you're the Lord, don't let the pastor in hell. We'll celebrate Advent with us. But we have to food sacrifice to our body in Jesus' name, amen. 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 You know that terrifying moment when somebody says, Let me see, did you get a pacifier? And I'm like, I don't know where it's at. Let's just pray that it's in there. There's your diaper. Okay, it's green, but it works. Green is better than nothing. Are you tired of this water yet? So as you can see in the video, we played basketball in the water. Well, I think I played a little bit too rough. Yeah, that's a blood blister. What are you doing? Lily. What are you doing? You playing? I love that she actually plays now. Like, 
we would give her toys before and she didn't really know what to do with it, but now if you give her a toy, she will play with it. Hey. Are you trying to crawl? She would not put her down and she just pulled up on her knees. You can do it. <laughs> Good girl. Oh. oh, that's fun. You better not crawl without your daddy in here. <laughs> Come here. I think he thinks you're cheering him on. Come here. Now the camera's at. Somebody's bringing a present. Woo! Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank it's you. all you're getting. So pretty. No Christmas presents this year. Shut up. There's the first piece. Man, that's gonna look so good. This little edge right here just about made me rethink this whole decision because we had to pay extra for that pretty edge but i think it's worth it i really do i hear lily coughing hi what a dog just appeared beside me i can't even talk did y'all see that it just appeared i wonder how it got here I don't even have words. Like I was gonna vlog. What? Come here. Since you just appeared. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna name her Bella. Because she's so beautiful. Look. Aww. Look, she's a cuddle bug. I can't even see her. <laughs> what is it, Lily? Oh, 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 oh. It's a good thing you have short hair, puppy dog. John thinks this dog is like a, this angel dog. Well, the moment he left, it bit Mom's shoe, barked and scared Lily, and now it's chasing Blue. Oh, my God. I got that on camera so he can see that you're not all sweet. <coughs> He'd be the type that would you'd wake up and your brand new tennis shoes would be messed up. Okay, I'll go the couch. It's a good that nice bald guy go. Who doesn't like that with John here? Who likes this dog? Oh, it looks like Okay, everybody say goodbye to this raggedy old countertop. Missy, are you excited? Yes. Well, yeah. here's the before. Now it's time to get to work. Okay, so, so far, I have disconnected this, I have disconnected that right there. I guess I should point the camera at it when I say I disconnected it. Um, disconnected the hot water, the cold water, and then these things right here are connected right here. I only got more to do back there. And then we could take the sink out. Where did my scene go? That could be the opening to the video. Yeah. Ow. I broke it a That's little. Because okay. there's a piece of wood right there. 
that they nailed on, and that was my last bolt that I needed to take off. But you didn't know it was there? I couldn't get to it. Oh. I still can't get to it. I'll have to take a hammer to it. Well, that's one down. And we need to charge this battery. So, so there are a couple of things that I think that you should see as far as this whole new countertop thing goes. The first thing is how stinking cute is Lily with her little feet down here. This is the only way that she'll sit in her co-sleeper and be happy. The second thing that I think you should see is John's workspace because it gets on my nerves. Instead of like making everything organized, moving it over to the side so he can work on it, he just throws it out in the middle of the floor and has to tiptoe around it and stuff and I, he needed help to put the first piece in and stress me out. Okay, so the second thing I think that, or the third thing that I think that you need to see is how beautiful these countertops are. Like, oh, they're going to be so pretty. And then John's coming gonna in. Be. John's going to come in to put the rest of it in. They were perfect measurements. Like, it fits the wall perfectly. Admire the beauty that is our new countertops. Man, that made this room look good. <laughs> you want this one? Here. <laughs> Maybe. Here. Here. It's like teaching a, a blue a trick. Here. <laughs> Here. Here. Oh. There she is. Time to go home. Well, we got loaded, ready to go. So they got the piano back. And they parked it at my dad's house and covered it really well. And they were going to wait and try to figure out the best way to put it in here because it's almost a thousand pounds. Well, my impatient husband ended up talking my dad into bringing it. So, it's like we're going to have a dirty old piano in here tonight. <laughs> no, I'm excited. John's over here talking to his piano. <laughs> no. Whatever bang on you again on this really doesn't and she'll get fussed at, I promise. <laughs> John's cleaning out the bag before they move it on over. It's gonna go right there in the middle. It's okay. Are you excited? bright and early um, we had a rough night last night with Lily she has had this cough you guys know for well over a month and I'm just not getting the answers that I want and I know doctors aren't miracle workers or anything but I just want to hear something more than just keep doing what you're doing you know or there's nothing we can do for her. I just want somebody to say this is what's wrong this is what you can expect. This is what we're going to do to make it better. She uh, was up last night wheezing again for like the third night in a row. She coughed yesterday, well yesterday evening right before bed until she threw up. And so I just, I have got to find some kind of answers for her. So, we are going to a doctor about 45 minutes away. It's a new doctor. Just to get a second opinion to make sure it's not something more serious that her doctor is overlooking and to give me a little bit of peace of mind and everyone around us because it's stressful to hear a baby cough and cough and cough and wheeze and not be able to help them. I'm, I run her humidifier and I, I feel like I'm doing everything that I can. 
I need somebody else to do something. Um, but as you can tell, my allergies are killing me this morning. I, where I cleaned that piano last night and it had about a hundred years worth of dust on it, I am feeling it this morning. I'm severely allergic to dust and I had to get up and take an allergy pill because my throat was sore and my nose feels stuffy and but anyway, I guess we're falling apart. But on the bright side, it's a very beautiful day this morning. The sky is just so beautiful and blue. and So that makes things a little bit better. Okay, take two. So, um, cause the last clip that I filmed was at the hospital, or at the doctor with Lily getting a breathing treatment. So we left, that was a new doctor. I had Lily in the doctor this Friday and she listened to her chest and everything and said that she was fine to keep doing what we were doing and um, that was basically it. I took her to a new doctor on Monday and found out that she had RSV. So she started her on steroids, um, her A steroid, an antibiotic because she's got another ear infection, and a breathing treatment which is she's been taking every four hours, which seemed to help with the steroid makes her crazy. She was literally rocking back and forth. Okay. And then yesterday was when we took her to the new doctor. By the time I got home, I was feeling kind of weird. By that night, I was half out of it, like not feeling well. And then Lily kept me up all night. And then all day today, I have just not felt well. And she was running a fever last yeah, night. Yeah, I had a fever last night, and I took some Tylenol, and it broke in the middle of the night. I told John, because he's been sleeping in the um, guest room, so that uh, Lily can stay in the bed with me. And I said I woke up sweating and started ripping my clothes off. So I went to the doctor tonight, and it was like a one-minute visit. <laughs> like, he literally walked in, walked to the wall, and walked back out, and gave me four medications. So I'm also on an antibiotic and a steroid and allergy medicine and mucin I'm taking mucinex and I'm getting ready to go take some NyQuil so I can sleep tonight because mother over here decided to stay so I can get some rest so, even though she is not feeling well herself. But um, so that is the update. Now you can film your piano in one minute. Piano time! Yay! Okay, so I wanted y'all to listen to like the difference. The tuner broke, the little key thing that I took it with. It broke and it kept getting stuck, and so I bought a new one. It's on its way. I can finally tune it when it gets here. Um, but I got half of it tuned, and then the other half is not. So I was going to show you the difference between tuned and not tuned. This is the tuned part. Here's the untuned part. So, once I get my key, I can finally tune it all, and then I'll play again and let y'all listen to what it sounds like then. Here's Mama. She's ready to babysit tonight. Goodness. But the medicine, like, I had her on the floor holding her hands, and she was literally just rocking back and forth. She was going crazy. 
So he's back at it again. He's cleaning this piano now. We've tried several different things. Well, he has tried several different things. And the thing that he's found to work the best is vinegar. And so he sprayed the whole thing down with vinegar. And I don't know if you can tell, but all of that white is like the wax build up. And then, let me show them right here. This is where he scrubbed it off. And it's shiny. Like, here's the difference. This is all the wax that just came up from the vinegar. That's just from spraying vinegar. All of that. And then, it got really shiny and pretty. You're doing good. You found, you found the trick, I think. I gotta wipe this. On the other hand, I'm kind of slightly freaking out because they say the vinegar is really strong in here and I literally can't smell it my nose I can like breathe in but I can't smell anything and it's kind of scaring me a little bit but they said that I should not worry because it my smell will come back right right right, right. <laughs> okay can I do it yeah that's get like you, one of those get you another one and then help me okay Something has happened to our piano. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. No, what I'm doing is um, the hammers inside of it, uh, these things are broke right here. And so now I'm taking out these things. That's what the hammers attach to. It's uh, this thing right here. So I'm taking them out. I'm going to cut these off. And I'm going to replace them with new hammers. That's so they work. So like, uh, yeah, that, that hammer's broken. So it doesn't work. So now I'm taking that piece right there out. Fix it. We figured the first step in solving this could be the way to do it. She seems like a Do you want one? Lily? Me. Lily. You want one? So it's okay. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Lily, come get it. Oh, oh. <laughs> that scared me. Come get it. Come get it. <laughs> Lily, come get it. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on camera. <laughs> Abusive mother. What?